And lucky for us today, we have Charles Mohan joining us in the studio Hi, to give us the backstory on his newly launched book. Hi, Charles. I'm good. How Lovely to see you as always. Congratulations okay. on your new book. Thank you very much. And thank you again for joining us. Yeah. So first things first, what inspired you to write the book? What was the catalyst? Okay, um, basically my experience with uh, in TV as a broadcast journalist was for the past 17 years, you know, and I was uh, actively playing an important role as a broadcast journalist for the past 15 years. So I thought that um, I should document all my experience as a broadcast journalist and also to give the other side of the story about uh, Malaysian leaders, the issues that I covered. And I felt that uh, it was very important for me to inform Malaysian as a whole that uh, being someone working as a broadcast journalist or someone in the TV is not as easy as what they are thinking. Just to prepare one minute and 30 seconds of stories, you need to spend the whole day and you, you need to have adequate research and so on. So I felt many Malaysians do not understand this. And I hope through this book, uh, they will know uh, it's not easy being a broadcast journalist uh, because a journalist basically, um, they work to inform the Malaysian as a whole on the updates of what's happening in the country. So I felt that um, this book was very important uh, for the uh, upcoming journalists as well as uh, for Malaysian as a whole. So I sat down with my co-writer from Pute Press, uh, Sharafuddin Sulaiman, and uh, we came out with the book. and. Uh, by God's grace, uh, we launched it today. So I feel I did it. <laughs> okay. Lovely. Right. So like you said, you know, mm. it can be, there's a lot of pressure. Mm. It can be very, very stressful. But what would you say is the highlight of your career as a broadcast journalist? Of course, for any journalist uh, in this country or in, in around the world, uh, the, um, the accreditation from the uh, public or people or even from any organization um, giving you an award and saying that, uh, well, you've done a very good job, that will actually make you feel really satisfied and good. Okay, And in uh, 2007, I won the Anugra Screen uh, TV3 for the best TV special report. So that was, uh, that was the highlight for me. I felt that I have uh, really contributed something for the society and it was really acknowledged. So it, yeah. would you say that's like some form of an, an, an encouragement for yeah, you? Yeah, definitely. It made me to go into more uh, extensive and more in-depth kind of report. It made me really brave to ask questions to the political right. leaders. It gave you uh, an energy booster that uh, it says that, Charles, you have to go on. You have to uh, produce more reports. You right. know, so that's why I compiled my best 50 reports in this uh, book so that um, it will be a new catalyst and also it will be a new inspiration for the young journalists. Right. Yeah. So going off on that, mm. what would your advice be to journalists? Okay, uh, basically we have seen that um, there's a lot of changes in uh, today's journalists because uh, the situation, the environment and, and so on. Okay, But the most important thing for a journalist is like you have to be passionate about what you're doing and you must love your job because every one minute or even 40 seconds of report which is awarded to you on a daily basis, believe that that is you who are speaking in front of the camera for thousands of uh, uh, Malaysians. Right. So you must carry, uh, carry it with a lot of responsibility. You must be uh, very encouraged. You must be very passionate. And the most important thing is be responsible for the report that you highlight. That is the most important thing as a journalist. Definitely. Yes, definitely. You're not being uh, paid much, long hours, no <laughs> life, all these things. But at the end of the day, you'll be satisfied when when you walk in the street, someone actually come to you and say like, hey, you are so-and-so, you did a good job, I saw you on TV. So that actually make you to move on. So I believe all the journalists uh, wants to have this kind of uh, acknowledgement among Malaysians. So be passionate if you want to be a broadcast journalist or a journalist as a whole. Right, so a book like this is pretty much like bearing your soul for the whole world to read. What would you say is your favorite chapter? And was there anything you would think twice about including? Well, I have uh, 265 pages in this book uh, with uh, almost 50 chapters. So for 17 years, I have done like thousands of reports. So I compiled the best 50 in this book. Uh, 
And especially, I also, uh, one chapter of it, I talked to the Malaysian leaders, the uh, ruling government as well as the opposition leaders as well. So I highlighted stories that people might not know about these people, you know. That's why the title is Sebenarnya, is actually, you know. So it will give the viewers uh, a different uh, way of looking at uh, the personality as well. And I also highlighted a lot of stories which also uh, has been talked about in Malaysia, like uh, the prostitution case in Sandakan Sabah. The, I love to do stories about uh, people's problems, masala rakyat. So I highlighted problems that how I actually went in to help her family to get the uh, so, so payment and so on. So you feel uh, it's not only, you not, no need to carry a title, uh, wakil rakyat or a leader to help someone. If you are a journalist, you can actually change people's life. So that's what I put in, uh, uh, in this uh, book. Absolutely. Okay, so let's move on to the mm. present day. You've left the newsroom as a journalist, yes. uh, but you still have one foot in the door as a, as a news anchor. But you're now the CEO of a non-profit institute on Jaffa. Yes. Do tell us more about this. Okay, Institute on Jaffa IOJ uh, is an NGO to help out the poor and vulnerable. And our patron is Honourable uh, Defence Minister Dr. Sri Shamudin Tunusin On. Basically, this NGO is uh, to help out the people who, who are in need of help. And currently, we are doing program feeding program for the homeless people called Jom Breakfast to feed the kids and also the homeless people. So I felt that uh, since I said I like doing work in helping out people when my journalist time it actually made me stronger to step into this NGO so to continue to serve the people. So, uh, well, a lot of people say, uh, what's so great about this thing? Everyone is helping people. But it's not about just helping people. I believe in changing people's life. Uh, even giving one breakfast to someone might change their life. So it's all about what's in your mind and in your heart that if you really want to do something, right. don't bother about what people say, you right. just go on. Right. So I feel this NGO uh, is helping, uh, it's giving me a very good platform. And based on my 17 years experience, and so far we are doing fine. And I thank all the people who support us. Good job, Charles, okay, I just you. want to say. And just before we wrap up 7th edition, where can fans buy your book? Okay, this book will be available in the market um, in a month time. You can get it in Borders, you can get it in MPH, you can get it in uh, uh, almost all the high brand uh, outlets. So it sells for only 20 ringgit very cheap so uh, it's good uh, it will be a good uh, light and easy kind of way uh, the, the way we interpreted the story in this book so uh, I hope uh, Malaysians and also journalists as a whole can um, buy this book and of course it's a tribute to all the journalists as well as all the reporters in the country and uh, I would like to tell to people this is amazing 17 years with NTV7 and Media Prima. Yes, they have created so many stars, big name and so on. And I definitely want to be one of them. And Amanda, this is a copy for you. I'm going to sign and give it to Thank you. Thank you. Okay, I'm wishing you all the best and uh, signed by myself. So I hope you'll have uh, time to read. Thank and this you. is one for the producer, Natasha, for both of you. Okay, okay. thank you so much. This is for you, Natasha. Okay. And uh, I've, I've already had a quick glance. I, okay. I do look forward to reading it. Thank you right. again, Charles, for joining thank you. us thank you tonight. For me thank here. you.